All right, guys, let's begin. Turn it on, we are reheating. All right, y'all, look at the collard greens from the makers of Expression, and this is the Senegal Locks in the color. All right, guys, you wanna get your board together. Get your board from Amazon. It don't matter, you know, a, a good size. And this is a dry erase board, and I wrote all of my recipes. Well, not the full recipe, but of course, you know, each meal that I will be making for Thanksgiving, I put it on a board. Now, the full recipe is not on here. It's just, it gives me some type of direction on what I'm going to be doing for Thanksgiving Day, because, child, you got to have some type of organization. So, I did this, and this helps me out. This has been helping me out for years, so... I just write everything that we are gonna be doing, what we gonna, uh, what my husband gonna be doing, or what I'm gonna be doing, and um, we just know where we're gonna be at. So <laughs> this is very, very, extremely helpful. So I suggest y'all get this if you know y'all, if you feel like y'all over the place for Thanksgiving. So let's move on. Guys. All right, guys, we gotta taste the collard greens. I'm cooking that right now, and this is it right here. So let's taste it. Mm. Whew. When it have that kick, you know it's done. And them collard greens is not hard. They soft. Good. I'm going to show y'all how it looks, guys. All right, y'all. Look at the collard greens. They look so good. Look at that. Exactly how they're supposed to be. And seasoned well. Look at all that smoked meat, guys. Ooh. And the juice. I can't wait to eat. All right, we got our macaroni and cheese. Oh, yeah, that big macaroni and cheese. Y'all know I had to taste it right quick. That's why that little hole right there. But all right, guys, we have the cornbread dressing right here and the rice dressing right here side by side oh that looks so good guys I still haven't ate yet so I'm still waiting on the yams y'all make sure y'all take the giblets out of the turkey before y'all cook it it's it's in this little spot right here don't cook the turkey with this in it <laughs> Cause I know y'all will. <laughs> Some people use it for their dressing. Y'all just throw it away, but just don't, don't cook it with the turkey, guys. <laughs> oh, y'all, look at this turkey, this fried turkey. Y'all, it was seasoned very well. Look at that. Ooh, look at that wing. Mm. And the chicken leg. Wow, 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 wow. This looks so so good Ooh, I love it 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 it looks so good this is our ham guys we didn't already started picking at it because I'm telling you this ham is so good the way my husband did it I mean that glaze is everything look at that And this is the potato salad, guys. All right, y'all, we got our plate right here with the rice dressing, cornbread dressing, ham, turkey, yams, collard greens, and macaroni and cheese. And we also have our potato salad on the side. Hold on. I hope you all are having a happy Thanksgiving. And I hope you are enjoying your time with your family. If you're not with family, I hope you are enjoying your Thanksgiving period. It's all about love, family, food, you know. Y'all, I am installing a new wig for Thanksgiving. And I just wanted to let y'all see what type of wig this is going to be. This is the Empress Lace Wig. Lace Front Edge. Uh, hand braided from the makers of Expression, and this is the Senegal Locks in color one. 100% premium fiber. So this is from the Senegal collection, guys. It's a braided lace wig, and that is it right here. And this is the wig right here. I wanted to show you guys, it has baby hair. 
and it has lace and this is how long it is guys Ooh, look at the ends can you believe that look at that so i'm not gonna you know do a whole tutorial on it because guys i don't have time it's it's thanksgiving but i wanted to show you guys at least how it looks on my head and i want y'all to see the inside as well so i'm gonna give y'all a peek of the inside of this wig before i place it on my head all right so this is the inside of the the unit and the lace um it only goes up to here so you really don't have too much lace on it and the lace is kind of hard it's not soft at all uh you have three combs one in the front and two on the sides and also one in the back and you also have the adjustable straps here guys okay and this is how the front looks okay now i was looking to see like how does it look like 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 right here and there's no lace of course so this is how it looks I'm too close this is how it looks I'm gonna let you guys see it on my head but you can't really see my hand is right here can you see my hand guys that's a good thing you can't really see it my hand is right here <laughs> you can't see my hand and that's the top of it so that's a good thing i want to see how it looks on my head so i'm about to show you guys okay so guys this is how it looks after i cut the lace right here and i made sure i didn't cut the lace in a straight line kind of like rig rigid you know i don't know if that makes sense but you don't cut the lace in a straight line but um guys look at this hump right here like i don't understand that and they got some of the braids are sewn down so I'm about to work my magic on this wig baby because it don't look right <laughs> it does not look right it just looks bulky right here you know I don't like that you see there's something holding this down like a string I don't know if you see that there's a string holding that down I'm gonna take that out I'll be back guys all right y'all I worked my magic with baby hair and I wanted to put a scarf right here because um I wanted something to match my outfit but this part right here I don't know I just I what I did was I braided it like the top and on each side and just put them together to kind of like kind of put that bulkiness down guys but that's the best I could do with this wig. But I love the baby hairs and stuff. And the, the braids itself, the twist itself. It's just my only kind. Like, I'm going to say the pros to this wig. I love the twist. I love that it's full. I love the, the baby hairs. Um, I had to cut them a little bit because it was way too long for me. And, um that's about it with the pros the cons i don't like the bulkiness up here i had to try to put it down i was able to put it down a little bit but um i don't know i couldn't work with it i tried to like do it like that you know um there's not much lace on this wig that's another kind i don't like that you know, I like a lot of lace to where I could be. It, it kind of looks more natural in the front. And that's not why I put the, the scarf right there, guys. I put the scarf right there because I wanted to match my outfit. Because I could definitely wear it without the scarf. Um, Because it looked kind of good, you know, without the scarf on it. But um, I wish they had more lace. Ear to ear, it does not go ear to ear. Ear to ear is right here. It goes like right here. Right here. It does not go ear to ear so um, another thing is um, when you start to take it out there's a little shedding here a little shedding you know when you, you play with it so but other than that I think it's a cute wig I think it can be worn with a hat it could be worn without a hat it could be worn with a scarf like I got it um 
let me let you guys see how it looks i want y'all to see how it looks um without the scarf on it this is how it looks without the scarf so i could definitely wear it like this you know i glued it down just for one day i'm not gonna wear this a lot but i glued it down and if you could try to get it to wear it like it you can't get it to lay down because the twist itself is bulky so that's probably another reason why it's bulky up here but i mean you just have to play with it guys you have to play with it but i'm gonna put my scarf back on and i'm gonna let y'all see my whole outfit and everything so stay tuned Okay, so guys, the night of Thanksgiving, I didn't go Black Friday shopping. As you know, some of these sales start earlier than Black Friday, but uh, me and my family decided not to go. But I was looking for this air fryer, guys, because I do have an air fryer now, but I wanted one that resembles like an oven and was way better than the one that I have right now. So um, I wanted to go black friday shopping on the day of black friday but we went that afternoon to see if i can find the power xl air fryer that i wanted so we went to walmart when we went to one store um i wanted to go get in there get what we want and get out you know because it's just too many people you know people sick nowadays so it's like you don't want to stay in one place it's too long but i finally found the one i was looking for guys and it was 99 dollars on sale this is the power xl air fryer pro plus it has nine presets three levels 12 quarts it, it's it's a huge one it serves eight plus people and um it's a it, it could serve family size meals in one appliance high temperature cooking up to 400 degrees one touch digital led panel large vis visible windows and a easy grip handle precise temperature control also 1700 watts of power timer with auto shut off recipe book included guys um also dishwasher safe and then it has accessories three crispier uh trays and a drip tray now what it does it has six in one it air fries it broths it bakes it roasts it dehydrates it reheats so if i need to reheat my food maybe this is the thing that i can use instead of a microwave i don't like microwave because it doesn't it doesn't reheat my food completely like it should so this should be great also guys it deep fries it has a deep fried taste without the fat 80 percent less fat than other air fryers which is amazing number one brand in air fryers in the u.s rapid air technology also um crispy crispy taste and texture without the guilt quick and easy family size meals non-stick coating and dishwasher safe parts which i just said that but it has a lot of good things guys so let's open it all right so it comes with this right here I'm sorry for the glare and I'm sorry for the shaking but um it says we want to give you a five-star experience please leave a review it comes with this it comes with this not sure what this is this is the recipe book guys that it comes with recipes look at that guys i'm not gonna show you the full one you have to buy it of course um and also the quick start guide so if you want to know how to start it this is some a quick guide directions to help you start it up and also the manual which you definitely need for this and it has everything you need in here with temperatures and all. So let's open. All right, guys, so I got it out of the box. 
and this is how it comes plastic wrapped so the packaging is perfect guys to keep it safe from breaking so we're gonna go ahead and open i wanted to show you guys what how it comes before i open it all right guys i took the plastic off this is covered in some type of tape i guess to protect it from scratches and you see the little blue lines it keeps it uh, closed so we're gonna go ahead and take that off all right guys so in the back of the air fryer we have the hot air outlet vents you do not want to cover the air outlet vents while the appliance is operating and do not place it within five inches of other objects um it talks about all the parts and accessories the dip tray the crispy the crispier tray um also at the top up here we have the let's see air intake vents do not cover the air intake vents while the appliance is operating either so you got one at the top up here let me see if you guys can see that you have one at the top up here a vent up here and one in the back so you want to make sure you do not cover those guys do not cover those and you also have the um, power cord in the back to plug it in so i'm gonna go ahead and show you also have your control panel oh i gotta show y'all this is a control panel look at this guys so it has all these things up here and it all i, I believe it automatically starts preheating but we're gonna cut it off oh cut it off right now i don't want it on right now Yeah, we don't want it on right now because it'll start preheating, guys. But I want to show you the trays and this door. This door can open all the way. Like when you open it, when you open it, it'll open halfway, but it can go all the way down. So we have two trays right here. Two. These are the crispier trays. Gonna go ahead and um you know what you want to wash these first guys wash all the things that's in here first because you never know who's been putting their hands and this is where your food is gonna go so we'll be back guys all right guys so i went ahead and washed it so these are your three trays and this is your drip uh drip tray yeah this is your drip tray so you're gonna put this one all the way at the bottom let's see all the way at the bottom for this one make sure i'm putting that on there right okay yes i think i put that on there right all right now you're going to place your three trays have a way you want to place it you place it like this and put that like that and now you want to figure out which what are you going to do before you put your stuff on so we're going to go with the uh quick start guide which it says make sure the make sure the dip tray the drip tray is in place press the power start button which i have already done that uh to turn on the preheating appliance if you are preheating the appliance let the appliance preheat for three minutes before adding your food okay once i figure out what i want to add in here because i'm going to put something in here so i can show you guys how it works and then it says step two arrange your food on crispier trays and place the crispier trays inside the appliance let's see if y'all can see that 
And step three, select one of the one touch cooking presets to begin the cooking size, uh, cycle. If using manual settings, select the time and temperature and then press the power start stop button. And then step four, after the set cooking time has expired, check the food and remove the food using only mittens or mitts, whatever. The fan will run for 20 seconds to cool down and the appliance will automatically shut off. Okay, so let's get started guys. And what I wanna put in here is some ham from Thanksgiving. I want to see how it warms up. So we will be reheating food. In here so I will be reheating some ham so give me a second guys all right guys let's begin turn it on we are reheating so you want your um, appliance to preheat so it started let me see uh, it started at 12 minutes so I kind of want the time you want to give it three extra minutes oh I did it too much okay this is very sensitive, so watch how you do it, guys. Okay, so since it was for reheating, it's 12 minutes. Add an extra three minutes for your um, air fryer to preheat. So I added, since it's 12 minutes for reheating, I added three extra minutes, so it's 14. So we're going to go ahead and let that reheat, and I'll be back. All right, guys, it's at 12 minutes, so you want to go ahead and add your oh not supposed to touch the uh if you have some some tongs it would be better and i have mine so i just don't have time to go get it but go ahead and place your your meat or whatever on the tray let me see if you guys can see that place it on the tray right here that's why i placed it on the crispier tray. I'm gonna go ahead and let's see if it's still at 12 minutes. Still at 12 minutes, guys, even though you opened it. Now you can also put the light on right here. And a light comes on in here for you to check it if you want. You know. So we'll be back once it's done. All right, guys, so halfway through, we want to open it up and flip it. You want to flip it. We're gonna take this out. Last time I placed it in there, I did not use a mitten, which you're supposed to use a mitten. And just take your bark and just flip it over, flip it over have a way you want to flip it over so all right and you want to close it back up and it goes right back to the same time let me show you guys see it goes right back to Let's see, now it's at seven minutes, so it doesn't cut off. And you see how I have enough room in the back, guys. You don't want it totally against the wall. Um, you want to have at least five inches away from other appliances and also away from the wall. All right, guys, so there's only one minute left. And I got my plate ready and my mitten ready so I can go ahead and take my meat out once it's done. I wanted you guys to see how it is once it's finished. Okay, it says off. Let's see if it's going to shut off. I just want to see if it's going to shut off. I'm seeing the display say off, but I'm still hearing the um, the machine, the air fryer. Oh, 
Oh, there it goes. It shuts off by itself. So we're going to go ahead and open it. And you're going to use your mitten to take the, the uh, tray out so you can grab your meat or whatever you decided to put in there. So I decided to put some ham because I want to taste it, guys. Look at that. Yes. All right. I'll go ahead and close that up. Okay. All right, guys. Close it up. And it just automatically shuts off. And I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. All right, guys, so this is how it looks. So it's an air fryer, so of course, is going to air fry is going to reheat and air fry so to me to be honest with you guys looking at how it came out once it was heated up um this is better because it takes out all the grease and stuff in here so it's much healthier for you and uh whereas if you put it in a microwave it you'll have all the juices now some people like all them juices in there but with the air fryer it's totally different i noticed this is the difference i see with when you reheat meat because when i put it in a microwave it's not like this so of course it's much healthier so let's take a taste of it now guys <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and take a uh, a bite of this that was reheated the ham that was reheated in the air fryer it definitely took out all the good juices out of it <laughs> But it's much healthier, guys. It's much healthier than those fried foods. So, this was baked in the oven. And as you can see, it's, you don't see any, like, like, it's really dry, guys. <laughs> so, that's the difference I see with this when you're reheating it. Because it's an air fryer. And that's exactly what I wanted. I want healthier food with all the extra fat and stuff and it's 80 percent less fat so that's good that's a good thing now this is good i love it i let you guys see how it reheats so basically you're going to see the same thing when you're cooking stuff in it too so you're going to see less fat which is more healthy if y'all on a healthy journey. This is perfect for y'all to get if you decide you want to get um, this Power XL air, uh, air Fryer Pro Plus. I believe that's what it is. Yeah, Power XL Air Fryer Pro Plus. Y'all go and get this. You can find it at Amazon. You can find it at Target. I, I got this from Walmart. So, and with... Um, Try to find the deals, guys. Where they got the deals at? But I hope you enjoyed this review. I also want to share with you guys what else I got from Walmart that I really, really, really needed for the Black Friday sales. Hold on. All right, guys. I also have these rubber made Tupperware. Um, I really, really, really needed this, and they had this on sale for like I believe it was four dollars at my local Walmart. They have the little small ones like this. These are good for when you have leftovers or when you wanna, you know, send somebody a plate or something or send somebody, um, you know, a sample of your dish or whatever the case may be. Or you wanna save something in a refrigerator. Are you cutting up fruit? You wanna put it in here. These are very good for that. And I need it more like that, you know, cause I'm always losing the lid. So I also got this right here, guys. This is a longer one. This is a longer one than this, if you notice the difference. This one, I really wanted, you know, for my leftovers. This one, this one is good too, but I believe this one is much bigger. So I was happy to get both of them, just in case, you know, I, I have more. I love Tupperware, I always, need it um and i don't want to be looking for any so 
that is all I got from the Black Friday sales. I wanted to keep it simple, guys, and get the only things that I need. I don't want to get unnecessary things. So, um, if you are in your uh, local Walmart and you, I don't know when you're going to receive this, you know, video, but it could possibly be after Black Friday or after Cyber Monday. But whenever you get a chance, go get these Tupperwares because they're really good for when you have leftovers or you want to cut up fruits or salads or whatever the case may be. All right, guys, I know y'all probably like, okay, Mink, why do you have potato salad just sitting there? Okay, so I have a sister here on YouTube and most of you already know who she is. Candy Poo 1100 or Candy Poo Vlog Life. She has two different channels, guys. Go check her channel out. Both of her channels. I'll, I will put her names, her channel names here on the screen. Guys, she was talking about chitterlings and um, potato salad and stuff like that in her videos. And she mentioned something that I never thought of about potato salads and her granny adds sandwich spread guys now this was not the particular brand of sandwich spread that she um adds she actually uses the blue plate brand but we couldn't find it me and my husband went to different stores trying to find the blue plate you know i could not find it so i was like you know what i'm gonna do i'm going to look on the back of these other sandwich spreads to see if it got the same ingredients i went online to check blue plates ingredients and also craft ingredients now of course both brands will not have the exact same ingredients you know one will have more than the other but i noticed that both of them had similar so i was like you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and try the craft so I went ahead and did my potato salad like I normally do. But this time I added some sandwich spread, some craft sandwich spread. Now, I tasted it and everything. It came out so good, guys. And this is how it looks. Now, I'm gonna suggest something. That when you add this sandwich spread, and this is how it looks, when you add this sandwich spread, you do not wanna add too much like you just want to add start off by adding just a little bit mix it up and then see if that's how you like it because a little goes a long way with this and i think i added just maybe a tad bit too much but you know you always learn every single time you cook something you always learn on what to do the next time so but this is so good mm. it's so good with the sandwich bread guys I'm not a relish person. I don't like relish, but I had to try the sandwich spread with it, and it tastes so good. Now, you, I do believe relish is in here. Let me see, because I believe I can taste it in here. Oh, it may not be relish. Oh, I think it's pickles, guys. It's not relish, it's pickles. But it's somewhat similar. I'm not sure if relish and pickles is the same thing or not. Because it kind of tastes the same. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Y'all know. I, I could be wrong with this. But it kind of tastes like relish is in here. But it doesn't say relish is in here. I'm looking at the bag. They don't say it. Um, I just do. I do see pickles. And there's a lot of vinegar in here. So if you don't like vinegar. That vinegar taste. You will taste that with this. So. Um just like i said a little goes a long way but thank you so much candy poo uh, candy poo 1100 and candy poo vlog life please go and subscribe to her channel guys she has amazing tips and i never would have knew about this if i would not have watched her videos i watch her videos from beginning to end and you know i pay attention to everything because you know something some people know some people uh some people don't know some stuff some people don't know and that's something i did not know and i was so quick to go run to my husband and tell him guess what you know did you know you can use sandwich spread and potato salad 
We went all over looking for that. I, I just wish I could have found a, the blue plate. I don't know what happened, but I cannot find it. But that's okay because you know what? If I cannot next time, if I cannot find the blue plate, I will use the craft because the craft is okay with me. It's okay with me. If the craft tastes good, okay, so y'all know the blue plate gonna, gonna taste even better. So, um, but that's about it, guys. Got I tried to look for the chitter, the chitterlings. Oh, I'm gonna say it like this chitlins. I tried looking for it and I could not find it. I wanted the red bucket. I seen the ones in the, the plastic uh bags, but I wanted the red bucket and I could not find none in my area. So, um, I'm just gonna look for it. I don't know. Hopefully, they have it for around Christmas time, guys. Or around my birthday. My birthday is coming up um, on December 10th. So I'm trying to make some before that time because I usually make, <laughs> you know, some stuff for me and my sister because we both have the same, we share the same birthdays because we are twins. So I kind of wanted to, um, to cook some. She never ate it before, chitlins. So I, I never ate it before either, and I want to try it. So hopefully I find it, guys. But go check out Candy Poo 1100 channel and her other channel, Candy Poo Vlog Life. If you are not subscribed, please go and subscribe. So she is very sweet, and she has reviews on her channel. She cooks on her channel. She has vlogs. She um she basically basically uh have she cleans on there it's different stuff guys that she does a lot of different things she do on there and she also does giveaways as well for those loyal uh subscribers so go check her channel out and we will move on to the next guys y'all making some pecan candy for my family it was requested it's that time of the year where everybody want all the desserts, the, the sweet potato pie, the corn pie. We'll be making some uh, some sweet potato pie. I didn't make none for Thanksgiving, but I want to make some this week. It's just so much was going on for Thanksgiving, but um, I will be making some for my family because it was requested that I make some. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys you know, a little clip of me making this pecan candy. Okay, y'all, I'm placing the pecan candy down. All right, y'all, the pecan candy is done. 